All right, welcome back, everybody. Going on to game number two. It's going to be on match point. Julia is up 1-0 and one game away from qualifying for TLS2. Let's go into the game. Okay, game number two. Julia versus Napoleon. Uh, it is my. Oh no, never mind. Um, yeah. Damn, what was I gonna say? I forgot now. Uh. Hmm. Oh yeah. After. <laughs> so so after after all my complaining last season about like the lack of Terrans and too many ZVZs, I gotta say. Given how Terrans are acting, um, I, I don't think I'm gonna complain about Zergs anymore. I think I think Zerg players are actually now my friends. Although maybe maybe Julia needs to like figure out how to actually kill Napoleon here. But may, maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe ZVZ is actually the way to go. I think I think you know what? I think I think I'm just gonna cheer for only Zergs now on. Let's just, let's just only do ZVZs, man. You know, like nice t quick. 8 to 10 minute games, you know, no faffing around, lifting off buildings. I think that's I think that's actually good. I think that's good. I think I think we should have a few more ZVZs in TLS. I like it. I like it. So yeah, so Napoleon went for uh I mean okay, so Napoleon was pretty far behind from the beginning of last game. He went for a wall in and then did like a sneaky fast starboard strat, but obviously his wall was not tight, which uh, causes problems when you're doing that kind of build. So let's see what he does here. Um, he, uh... This, this is a good map for going for, like, drops and stuff. There's a lot of space in the back of the main to, like, sneak that in. Uh, if he wants to do something like that, again, with a fast starboard. Or, I don't know, you could do, like, an Andre build. <laughs> One base fast vessel. That'd be pretty cool. And hey, gas rashi, rashi, yashima. The hell is this? All right. <laughs> Napoleon was One Racks expanding anyway, so I don't know what the hell that is. He just really doesn't want him to make a starport or a factory. This is, I, nah, nah, I don't think this is very useful. He'll just one racks expand, get like two or three more racks, or sorry, one or two more racks. And, uh, and it, it doesn't actually do anything. Pretty sure. Does this do anything? Bakryu, I see Bakryu. Bakryu, does this do anything? I don't think it does anything. Nope. See, so turns like, oh well, I guess I'll make a command center then. Gosh darn, you forced me into it. Julia seems to be going for two edge muta again. Seems to like this route. So we got one marine poking it down, and as I said, next for barracks, he might even get a second one here or on the side. Since his gas won't be done, so no point getting an academy or an eBay just yet. Uh, and there's the lair. So I guess he's just really trying to delay the tech. So he's hoping that you know maybe by the time his two attribute hits, I don't know, stim won't be done. I think stim is still be done though. It'll be close. No, I'm pretty sure. Well, no, it'll be close because if you go for like the, fa the mega fast 12 pull two attribute, you can hit before stim is done as well. So maybe you can do it too with the gas deal. I'm not sure. That would actually be really good. That would actually be pretty sick. And by that I mean I still don't think this is good. <laughs> I just I just can't really see if he does the game. Because now now Terran's gonna start mining and you know, I mean look at this. It's it's essentially a two racks of CAD. Like one one racks FE, 
into Two Axe Academy, and, the, and the, the gas deal just didn't actually change it at all. It maybe delayed it by like 10 seconds max. Tops! In the meantime, SCB guy is gonna survive. And we've got Spire. Interesting placement here, right on the edge. So obviously that makes it a little bit hard to scout it. Uh, with the, you know, if the content's not perfectly placed, it can go undetected. Uh, it does make it a little bit more vulnerable to drops later on, obviously. It's right on the, the outside of the base. Um, like, it would've been safer to put it right on the bottom, maybe. But it doesn't make a huge difference, I guess, uh, with Stim Marines running around. So, we do have uh, Academy, eBay, all done. I mean, this is, this is more or less what Napoleon wanted at this point, anyway. Uh, in the meantime, a good number of Lings are coming out, so that's a pretty standard, you know, pre-2-hatch Muta Ling attack to uh, to whittle down the Marine numbers, and, uh, you know, in in the best case, even, you know, force the Terran to overreact to make fire bats, which would just be awful, uh, completely useless against the 2-hatch Muta. We don't actually have any turrets going up just yet. He still does have a little bit of time, but uh, should get them up fairly soon. Meanwhile, the Ling's gonna poke in here, see so they can't really do anything. Uh, at the front, and an SCP also crucially, an SCP somehow gets in to scout, even though the speedings on the map is going to see it is in fact 2 hatch muta. I think he probably already suspected it, but that is just a confirmation of the build, and, uh, and he should be able to get the turrets up perfectly in time to deal with this. Of course, it is still a bit annoying. Uh, there's this high ground area behind your natural that the mute is going to use, and also to, to help pick off the uh, Marines as they spawn from the barracks here. Very, very nice little area there. That's why I think it might have been better to put this barracks like more against the, the map edge, just so this isn't quite as powerful. But a lot of times we'll just put a couple of turrets here anyway and deal with it that way. Now in the meantime it looks like uh, we have Julius sending the drone over to the top left to get another base there. Of course he does seem to play the management style 2 edge meter rather than going, you know, 2 edge meter all in. Uh, just transitioning off of it with uh, Lurkers and a third base, although he is getting plus one attack for his mutas though, so he is intending to do uh, at least a decent amount of damage here. You don't really need that if you're just going to switch straight away. But look at that, plenty of turrets in Napoleon's base. Um, Napoleon's turret placement, by the way, I'm not really a huge fan of. Notice he, he seems to build them all random and scattered. Yeah, most Terran players nowadays build them in pairs, whereas Napoleon builds individual ones kind of evenly spaced, which, you know, you might think, oh, in theory it doesn't matter since the, the coverage is, you build the same number of turrets anyway, but it's really much better to build them in pairs so that you just can't just, like, pick off individual ones on the side like this out of range of the other ones. If you build two at a time, it, they take a lot more damage than they do. So a bit of a miss micro there, though. Julian also getting caught by the Marines in the back, so taking a lot of Marine fire there. you are gonna have to take some more turret fire on the way out as well. Yeah, see, this is the kind of thing that you want to do. Not build individual turrets spaced out. Third base not quite taken yet uh, for Julia. Oh, did I say that? Is he going to make it? Nope, he spent some more minerals. Uh, but he does have Lurker Tech on the way. I'm really not sure if this plus one is that useful. So he's not going to be making that many more mutas. Uh, so I don't really know if that, that 100 gas is really worth it. I mean, that's pretty expensive at this point. Going to Muta, your economy is not fantastic. So, so if you can skimp on things like that, I think I really think you should. Uh, you have to really kind of decide what your plan is here. If he's not going to go for a heavy, you know, muta uh, attack, you know, constantly reinforcing mutas, then I, I don't think the plus one is really worth it. And looks like muta's moving in once again, trying to use this little high ground. Unfortunately for him, getting taken a lot of turret fire. And uh, Napoleon going, going up to five racks. So he hasn't really taken significant damage from the two hatch. Uh, he's just kind of, you know, he's built a, quite a few turrets, but other than that, um, really been able to kind of do whatever he pleases, so he's gonna have a pretty nice army pretty soon here, and gonna be able to move out, and Julia, what is he gonna be able to, what is he gonna do? He does have lurkers already out, so he will be able to set up some positions here in the middle to, to stop these marines for the time being, although it looks like, uh, Napoleon's moving out, and he's gotta be very careful because he doesn't have the vessel yet, so if these lurkers do burrow somewhere and just, you know, go, uh, do stop lurkers, then, uh, then he could lose a lot of marines here, but uh, looks like he might catch these lurkers before they're burrowed. Is he going to see it? Is he going to scan? No, he's not going to try. Is he going to go for it? He's got to be a little bit careful because he, yeah, he knows the mutas are on top as well, so it's a little bit risky to try and break those two lurkers, even though there's only two of them. Like, if these lurkers by themselves, he can actually kill it easily, but he he doesn't know if there's mutas and links behind the support. And actually, oh no, never mind, those are the initial mutas. Okay, I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought those were new mutas, but no, those are the original ones. 
I saw the army swinging around the north side, but a couple of lurkers should be able to barge here on the top of the ramp and stop that easy peasy. Uh, meanwhile, we do have two starports going up, so the point is going for the SK Terran style uh, bio play. And there is the Queen's Nest. No hive just yet. I feel like Napoleon is actually ahead, just by virtue of the fact that Julia hasn't really done any damage, and and so you know his economy is not very good. His tech isn't particularly fast, and and Napoleon's been relatively untouched. So, uh, so I think uh, I think Napoleon's in pretty nice shape right here. He's getting siege mode. Interesting that he's getting siege mode and obviously siege tanks for that. Uh, in addition to getting two starports, you usually cannot afford that on just two bases. But I guess he does have a little bit of gas bank, so you know he could just go get two or three siege tanks first, and then switch into pure vessel production. Um, because getting those initial couple of tanks is still very, very useful. Oh my god, is he going for this? Oh my god, there's stop workers on the top of the ramp! Oh man, really great move! And oh god, they ran into lurkers on the other side as well! Oh no, Napoleon just suicided his entire army. What? Napoleon. You fool! Fool of a took! How could you do that? Oh, Napoleon, 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 Napoleon. So how he's still ahead in supply though, he's at 92 supply against 72. <laughs> that was weird. I mean, he even spread them out as if he thought there were units here, and then he didn't scan. I don't know why he didn't scan that. Why, why did he not scan that? Did he not have energy? I guess he didn't have energy on his compsats. So he's like, well, I guess... And he ran, he ran one marine up. He's like, well, surely if this one marine isn't dead, all the rest of the marines can just run up there. Yeah, to be fair, that was a pretty smart move by Julia. I, but... Because that's something that I wouldn't even think of to, to hold... To do stop lurkers at the top of the ramp. Because normally a Terran would just expect lurkers to be up there anyway, right? Hey, it looks like uh, Julia's going to make some Guardians here at the back of the Terran's main. That's going to be a pain in the butt. Some Lurkers, meanwhile, also denying the Mineral only. But it looks like Napoleon is just going for a big attack again, you know? He has remacroed a pretty decent army, and he's now got the Vessel, so he's not going to stupidly walk into uh, to Lurkers again. I don't know, he still might. You never know with these these Terrans. You never know. Oh, there's a big counterattack. Of course, there's already a bunker and a tank there, so that's not really going to do anything. And this attack, where's it gonna go? Is he gonna go to the natural? To the top left? Uh, it's gonna be the natural. All right. Not too many units here, a lot of lurkers morphing. If they finish, there'll be a decent sized force here, but uh, until then, the Terran army can make some headway here. So this one needs to move up here to get vision. Ooh. Taking it down. Guardians not quite morphing yet in the back. This could be dangerous. Where's the consume? Is the consume not done yet? Oh man, the lurkers are getting picked off here. It looks like there's no consume yet. There's no consume, but there's a lot of lurkers there. Where's the consume? Consume is almost done. Three more seconds. And then it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine anyway with these lurkers. And Napoleon's moving in. Please be careful with the Marines. There's still a lot of lurkers there. Where's the consume? There finally is the consume, and that's gonna allow Julia to push this army back just in the nick of time. Pretty classic TGT right here, where it's looking like the Zerg's in trouble. But he gets that Dog Swarm out, and uh, is able to push the Terran back. In the meantime, looks like uh, Napoleon gonna move out and take his Mineral only. And do we have Guardians? No Guardians just yet morphing. He does have the Greatest Fire, but he's not making them yet. I guess he's too busy microing here in the front of his, uh, front of his base. His, uh, his, his third base here at, at the top left, interestingly, is not really mining. He's mining the gas there, which is the most useful resource, obviously. But uh, otherwise, it's not really saturated at all. So that's not ideal. <laughs> I love how the tanks ran away and then realized they could actually kill it. And just turned back. And the uh, Lurkers ran away instead. And they're finally on the Guardians morphing, so, you know, most of the Terran army is completely away. Oh man, this is actually got a bit of a traffic jam here in the natural. Napoleon actually really on top of his macro, doing a brilliant job. You know, macroing uh, up, a, up a bio army is not no easy feat. Uh, but it looks like he does have two factories as well, getting some vulture upgrades, so really liking to go for those uh, pretty early vultures to, uh, to supplement it. I do think, yeah, I, I think that's something that Napoleon does kind of stylistically. He does like to add on those vultures pretty quickly. Uh, I remember he did that last season of TLS as well. In the meantime, the Guardians are done. They're gonna start owning it up in the main base. They're owning it up. Napoleon, he's gonna eraser him. No, no direct radiance. Oh wait, no, there's a couple of direct ones. 
And he's gonna erase her the uh, the other one though, curiously. I don't know why he just didn't directly radiate the that guardian. Because this he's not actually chasing it effectively. But uh Oh man, why what is going on with this army? Look at look at Napoleon's army control! Look at look at it! Why is this stuff all over the place? What's going on here? What? His tanks are just... I did, did, ah! Napoleon, why is your stuff all over the place, man? What is this tank doing here? Why is Napoleon's army in little bits and pieces scattered on the map? I don't understand. How is this even happening? Like, how, how do you even do that with your control? Like, when does that happen? When do you right-click each control group to a separate place on the minimap? Like, what, what does that even... How does that happen? I don't understand. It's really weird. Anyway. At least he's macroing. <laughs> that's that's always the key. Wow, he's actually got a huge... He's got a double the supply lead. Or, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. He's got double the supply of Julia right now. That's pretty cool. Oh, 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 snipe! Nope. Almost. 10 HP. Good try. Good try. Good effort. Good effort. Go team. And it's like one, one random marine. Gonna check out this base there. Gonna get intercepted. And it was like, uh... Napoleon, he's trying to make some headway here. I mean, you know, he's kept the Zerg down to his three bases, and, he, and he's now taking his fourth. So Napoleon's going up to four base against the Zerg three, which is obviously pretty nice. Oh, he's scared of a plague. Oh, nice plague dodging there. He knew it was coming. Really, really nice. Only got two of those versus plague. That's pretty sweet. Meanwhile, the uh, defensive mines did a little bit there, but he's going to have to lift off his command center either way. There's the emergency lift. I see he's not quite stacking away properly, but that's okay. Some more units coming to defend him. It looks like we have a... Uh, well, not quite a complete mix, mix switch, actually. Not yet. Perhaps once he's established his fourth base, he can do it. Looks like a random Hydra somehow killed the SCV that was making that command center, which is pretty cool. And, uh, Julia just doing his good defiler work. Oh! <laughs> Napoleon not paying attention again. But that's okay, because he's still got, like, a 70 supply lead. Still in monster mode. Wait, was there a drop here? Possibly. It doesn't look like it, though. So... Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it looks like Napoleon, despite having a big supply lead, has just, you know, a lot of random units scattered around. I don't see a huge standing army anywhere. Like, I'm clicking around, he's still got these five random-ass tanks on this high ground that he's just sitting there. Like, where is all his supplies? He's at 169, what does he even have? Oh, it looks like they're all stuck in the natural again. Okay, there we go, there they're coming out. Uh, meanwhile, though, big counterattack on his bottom right base. He's gonna get warded away somehow, but by just, like, a random handful of units. Um, I think it'll be okay anyway. Man, how is this actually being so effective? Alright, there we go. Lurker's coming up. That should be good. And otherwise, Napoleon is just gonna chill. He's gonna be fairly passive. And just, I guess, sit on his economic lead. You know, I mean, Julius is stuck on three bases still. Uh, and not mining out though, because you know Zerg just never mines out. But it's still pretty rough shape economically. He's got the six o'clock now. He's not quite mining there yet. Is that a transfer? No, there's just some bunch of units. He is getting dropped for the overlords. I think he already has overlord speed actually. And oh my god, he's got a queen here. That's this is not the time for queens just yet, man. What are you doing with the queen? What's that for? Well, whatever it was for, it gets a radius straight away. I guess maybe he was hoping to snipe the uh, command center with some hydros and just infest it. Um, he's gonna parasite a random vessel instead, because otherwise that's just not very useful. So, looks like Julia is moving in to the bottom right. And gonna just uh, slowly push it with Dark Swarms. See, this, that queen is actually, I mean, it's sort of legitimate. If you can, like, pick off a command center down to half health, but you don't quite have enough to finish it, just investing it is a very easy way to finish it off. And obviously, it's pretty demoralizing for your opponent as well. Um, but it looks like Julia's gonna lose a 6 o'clock base. Easy peasy, had absolutely nothing defending it. Even though he could've just left two lurkers here, it looks like he wasn't quite paying attention. And 
didn't send him over there in time, so that base is forfeit. He has already taken the mineral only as well, though. But I mean, look at this. This map seems to actually not quite suit Julia's style because we saw Julia loves like taking, uh, you know, corner expansions, you know, double expanding everywhere, taking bases all over the place. So even if he loses some bases, then he still has, he just has leftover bases anyway. Uh, but on match point, you know, it's a two-player map. You can't really take corner expo so easily. You know, there's only one corner expo to take, and it doesn't really suit that kind of mass expanding style as well as you know, four-player map would. So perhaps a uh, you know, match point not quite favorite Julia. An epic conga line of Marines, by the way. <laughs> nice. Now, that's how you control an army, ladies and gents. Conga line Marines. In the meantime, what do we have? Mm. Yoink. Uh. Huh? You ready? Oh my god, he just ate the irradiated lurker. Wait, was it still borrowed when he ate it? I, I, I'm not actually sure if you can consume borrowed units. I guess you can. That's interesting. Cool. In the meantime, Napoleon's still getting stuck in his main. Does he just have a miss rally here? What's going on here? Was there a draw? What the hell happened here? Oh, was he just killing? Oh, maybe it was just because they were the Guardians. Oh, okay. I guess he just killed the Guardians with that. Alright, that makes sense. So Napoleon is now maxed, and Julie's at 98 supplies. So, so since Napoleon's maxed, I really hope he like attacks or you know, does something useful. I mean, he's killed the mineral only. He killed the 6 o'clock. Julie's still on his original three bases. Uh, he's moving out with his army. And Napoleon is still scattered. Come on, dude, let's go! He's Max. What is he doing? Where's he going? He's going to the bottom right. Why is he going to the bottom right? What's he doing that for? How is Napoleon. Or rather, what is Napoleon doing? Is that still parasited? Ooh, it's still parasited. So, Julia, he's got a spot on the Terran army, at least where the vessels are. And this random ass group is gonna get taken down. See, this is why this is not very good. You just use a bunch of sea shanks in the lane, that's not really good for you. But, uh, Napoleon is gonna counterattack and deny the 6 o'clock once again. But I really feel like he should just go kill him, like, he just attack the natural or something. Because, like, no, there's nothing here. He's, he's maxed out completely against the 100 supply. Sir, I don't know why he's not just attacking in a big in a big lump. Like, what is he actually doing? See, even Bakuyu is mad. Bakuyu Baku says this game is making his head explode. See, even Bakuyu doesn't get it. I don't know what the boy is doing. Maybe he's just trolling us. So. Another plague. I mean, you know, Julia's doing okay here. He's trying to be super cost efficient with plagues and like random hydro sniping. But I have no idea what Napoleon's doing right now. He's. I mean, what what is he waiting for? He's Max. What is he actually doing? What are you doing? Do something, man. You got spend that 200 APM. Do something useful. What is he? Uh, I don't know. Maybe half of that he's just fapping with or something. Hmm. I guess that makes sense. If you only actually have 100 APM to control a big max army, probably pretty hard. But look at this, he's just like leaving random groups of units everywhere. They're just all over the place, man. What is. They're, they're actually. He's like polluting the map with units. This is environmentally bad. Unfriendly. Napoleon is polluting the earth with Marines. Terrible person. Look at this. Look at him just leaving his trash everywhere. Alright, so it looks like a few of the units are gonna go up here to 12 and deny that again, so that's good. The rest of the army I thought was going down to deny the 6 again, but that didn't happen. Bakri says Napoleon is waiting for Julia to win. <laughs> that's that's actually so true because Julia is actually trying to darn this. He's doing some awesome like plague and swarm action. And Napoleon is doing who knows what. Uh, Alright. Yeah, plague! It's not even worth it anymore. This is plaguing everything. 
Oh god, oh it's a slaughter. It's a slaughter. Bakuyu's calling match fixing. I know man. Maybe wait, who was that uh, that uh, that offered cookies earlier? Oh wait, it was Arc Neon offered Julia cookies. Maybe Julia took those cookies and now offered them to Napoleon. You know what I mean? So Napoleon's like, alright, I'll just sit here and wait for you to win. But Julia can't figure out how to kill a Terran anyway. So we're just like at an impasse here. Huh. Oh, come on. Can I just times do it? Times do it, times four. It's time 16. Let's go all the way. Why are there so many queens on the map as well? I don't understand what that's for. What are the queens about? Does anybody know? There you go. Uh, huh. <clears throat> do, do, do. Man, if this goes to a third game and it's just like this, we should just like read the results. We should, oh man, we should do the text summary from uh, from last season's group stage. Do you guys remember that? It was like a, a bugged replay, so we didn't, so we couldn't watch the end of the game. So I just like read a te uh, a text recap of the second half of the game. We should actually just do this. Somebody, because I'm like, isn't Tupacalus in this game? So he actually knows how the rest of the game goes. We just ask him for a text recap. So basically be like, yeah, Napoleon just sits around on Max Army for like another hour, and eventually Julia wins. And that'll be it. Let's let's do it. What in the apocalypse? Let's go. Text me up, man. Text recap it. Did he just ensnare more of his own units than the Terrans? Ah oh, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. I think I think we need to beat you, Napoleon. Napoleon, you are DQ'd from StarCraft. This is terrible. Uh, what do we got over here? Oh, we got a drop! He's killing the SCVs! Oh man, Napoleon actually doesn't notice this. Oh god, he's just killing everything. You know what's actually happening right now? Napoleon's actually, like, playing this like one of my PVZs. He's saying, if I split the map evenly with Zerg, I will win eventually. Maybe like, you know, in a few months time, but the game will eventually be mine. So I don't actually need to attack. The problem with this strategy is that Terran can't make cannons, so he's like losing everything to drops. <laughs> uh, and suddenly Napoleon has dropped from max supply to 143. And Julie is like keeping a constant supply and also denying his base. Napoleon, Napoleon, Napoleon. Dude. I'm like never mentioning his win against Siki again. This is not doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it! Is this a rate is this a uh infest? Oh too late! Too late! Did he just parasite an SCV? He got a red one too. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually reading the chat more than I'm watching the game right now. It's a little bit silly. You guys are entertaining though. I like this. At least at least people in the chat are, are quite funny. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome people. So. Alright, Napoleon, is he attacking now? He's attacking with some marines and no medics, that's not very useful. He's got like 50 million vessels, which usually is instant win for Terran and TBZ, but apparently not. I think this might actually be the first time I've seen a Terran with so many vessels and not winning the game. Or I guess not yet. But look at this, Ju Julie just like keeps retaking these expos, he doesn't even care. Oh, this could be it. Could this be it? Could this be the end? I don't know why he's attacking with only like a control group of units and vessels. Like, where is the rest of his army? He's at 156 supply. 
Where are the dudes? Look, there's like dudes here. It's like a bunch of dudes here. Dudes there. Dudes everywhere, man. But they're not attacking. They're just chilling. They are all just chilling. See, we. Man, I, we need to bring back my shot clock idea. If you can't win the game with double supply for like 10 minutes, you just forfeit. Forfeit the game! Alright, we got a mech switch. That's that's cool. He's not even like making BCs in ceremony or anything. It's not it's not even like the game's going on long because he's goofing off and making you know battle cruises and moves and stuff. I mean it looks like he's trying. Is he trying? Do you guys think Napoleon's trying right now? Because he's made only legitimate units. He hasn't made ghosts. You know? He hasn't, like, blinded anything. He hasn't made a manor CC. Like, it looks like he's trying, but surely he can't be trying, can he? Is he trying? I, I can't tell. Like, it looks like he is. But truly, Napoleon is better than this. We got to the finals! Maybe he, like, set himself a handicap. Yeah, somebody just said, maybe he's only using his mouse. That's true. Or maybe he's high, that's a good one too. He could be, like, really drunk. Or high. Or both. He's drunk and high. Oh. Maybe... Uh, maybe... No. Let's, let's think of more things, more reasons why, why Napoleon's doing this. Maybe, maybe he just like lost the Battle of Waterloo, and he's really sad. Actually, is that really what happened? My history is terrible. I hope that was at least somewhat relevant historical reference. Kind of rooting for Julia to win now. Oh, oh that could have been good. Because I think if Julia wins, that's gonna be a plague. Boom. I think if Julia wins, it'll actually the game will end sooner than if Napoleon wins, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this Napoleon I mean Julia's supply is slowly but steadily climbing. Like he started this. With like 80 supply to max, now he, you know, then it was like 100 supply to max, now he's at 110 supply to max. If he just keeps climbing 10 supply every time, and he's actually mining from the 12 now, and if he keeps mining from these top 12 and 6 bases, he will in fact eventually win the game. So, maybe we should just hope for that. We may want to have a third game. Oh, the double goop! The Christmas goop! Ensnare and Plague on the Vessels. Good times. He's gonna hunt them down with the Hydras too. Awesome moves. Look at that, it's like blanking both colors. That's pretty sick. How long has this been gaming going? Surprisingly only 32 minutes. But... 32 and a half. 33, 33 minutes now. Uh... Huh. God, Napoleon's like just becoming the most hated player in existence right now. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me either. Because I'm like pretty tired. So I don't know, I, I wasn't sure if my judgment was just being clouded. But no, okay, I'm glad to see that even Bakri's mad. If Bakri gets angry, then you know something's up. Because Bakri's like the nicest guy ever. Bakri's like German Day 9 basically, he just never gets mad. So when Bakryu actually gets frustrated, then something is seriously wrong. Alright, nice team matrix on the fire bat. Good times. Uh, Mass Hydra's not gonna cut it here. Julia. The Mass Hydra's, where are the lurkers at? You need lurkers, bro. Lunkers. I don't know. Maybe you should try dropping the main or something. Dropping drop the 12. Nuke in the 12? You can nuke the 12. You can nuke it from the main. I'm pretty sure if you put a ghost right here, you can actually like nuke right here. And just kill everything. Is he making nukes? 
Let's not making nukes. Oh, there's another engagement. Uh, oh, he's killing everything. Is the game gonna end? Nah, oh my goodness, of course the game's not gonna end. <laughs> Doing the emergency overlord save. Well, where are these guys going? Is this like a fake drop? No, he's just he's just scouting, I guess, because he, he like overmade overlords. So he's gonna go scout. Oh, it looks like Napoleon finally has got the six o'clock. Just in time too, because he's basically mined out everywhere else. Is this really turning into a mind out game? Is that really what's happening? Alright. That's pretty cool. But look at that. Julia. He's in the front. Bragging the front. More units coming down though. Uh, more units are coming down. Maybe, maybe if Napoleon is drunk and high, we should all get drunk and high too while watching this. And then we'll have a better perspective on the game. Actually, wait, no, don't do that. Stay in school, kids! Don't do drugs! I'm so kidding. No, but seriously, though. Alright, so how, how much stuff does he really have left? Alright, he's got the mineral only. He's got... He's got... 12, alright, but Napoleon's got this, which is basically mined out, and he's got 6, and he doesn't actually have a huge bank. So this could- man, could you imagine if this was a draw game? Oh my god, I swear to god, if this game turns out to be a draw and they rematch, I'm, I'm just gonna ban Napoleon from, from TLS, and just banning him. Banning him from life. Thanks. Man, this is pretty cool though, I gotta say. Julia, I mean he's showing us how to how to be, you know, half supply for 20 minutes non-stop and still win the game. This is amazing. Awesome. seems to have a little bit more bank than Napoleon does. So I think, actually, this game, if it continues on at this rate, is actually going to somehow go to Julia. Oh, Monster Plague as well. Julia keeps doing those. He's definitely going to take it. It looks like... Oh, no! Oh, no, there's an Eraser! Julia's not paying attention to the 12, though. An Eraser has just killed his entire economy. So I guess Julia's not mining in the 12, either. So they're both on one base. Oh, wait, no, never mind. The 6 o'clock is dead. So Napoleon is in fact now no longer mining minerals. He has 16 minerals that he can mine from here. Uh, so he's got he's got a bank of 400 minerals, and that's it. Wait, why is his mineral income going up? Oh, I think he canceled something. Or oh no, he was distance mining. Okay, that's why it was going up. Uh, but that eraser, man. That's pretty brutal. Oh, so Ball's just gonna own his base as well. Oh no, come on, Julia, you can win. I have faith, Julia! No, Julia's not mining anymore either! 
Oh no, Julia! What the hell is this? Oh, that's pretty cool. Mass borrowed links at the six o'clock. That's sick. I hope the next game is four four or something. Please, just four p. Please, please, for the love of God, just four pool. Oh, wait a minute. We clear it out. We might be able to clear it out. We should not have this guy standing next to the other guys, though. Oh, oh, Julia, he's gonna clear it out, and his links, they're killing the six o'clock! Oh my god, Julia, how are you doing this? This guy's a magician. Look at this guy. Julia, man, you are magic. I'll just... Look! So so now, well, now they're basically both not mining. <laughs> what the hell? Napoleon's not mining. Julia's basically not mining. He's mining from two almost dead patches. He's got like 100 minerals left to mine. Julia's gonna win! He's now, the deficit is now like less than 40 supply. The 68 to 116, I think it's mostly SCVs as well. Oh my god, he's got some free marines. Napoleon, what have you even done? <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is way too good. Uh, it's incomprehensible. Alright, here we go, he's moving in. Oh man, Julia though, he's got not enough units to do this though. Blake, Blake, Blake! Ah, uh, not the best play. Oh man, Julia. Julia though, he's got no more money. Oh no, he's got to win with these hydras. There's like four siege tanks in the back. Dude, Julia, he doesn't have enough money to retake the hatchery. Oh my god, Terran's still mining. Did, I think Napoleon just won, because Julia's got nothing left. Oh my god, this is so sad. This is, in fact, quite sad. Alright, I, th I think that's actually Napoleon's game. So... What? Does he have any units left besides these five? I think he's distance mining the 12. Yeah, this is... This is sad times, but Julia is down to 33 supply. And GG from Julia. A 41 and a half minute game that should have been a 20 minute game. And we are now 1 to 1, so we're going to a game 3 to decide who will win the qualifier and advance to the round of 24. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna. <laughs> Quick ad break, and then we're going on to the last game.